Hey there. Before I get back to your regularly scheduled movie programming, I'm taking a wrestling swerve for a second. There's been some news from a, one of my favorite companies. Actually, my favorite company. If I watch wrestling on a regular basis, which I kind of don't now. I do watch a few of the shoot interviews, some documentaries, stuff like that, but I don't really watch wrestling on a regular basis. I watch every once in a while. Uh, since the whole downfall of WWE... I pretty much stayed out. I went, tried to get excited when CM Punk did that whole uh, I'm leaving with your belt type of thing. But then they messed that up really, really bad. And uh, I kind of watched on and off. S.H.I.E.L.D., pretty cool. TNA, I uh, really enjoyed. Until uh, Hogan and Bischoff got there and did some uh, questionable things. I did like the whole uh, Aces and Aces thing. That worked out really well when it started. But it fell apart and Hogan's gone. Uh, Bischoff's been paid to, leave, to stay out of the company. And, uh, well, Jeff Jarrett, the uh, guy that created TNA, is, uh, has left the company. And from what I can see today, I was excited last night because I watched a clip with uh, t on TNA with uh, AJ Styles coming in to uh, talk, no, to face Magnus. So I said, okay, AJ Styles gone was a work. Uh, that's awesome. Uh, I really enjoy watching AJ Styles. I don't want to see him like gone from the company. So, get the power back. <clears throat> and I go to check on the wrestling stuff like I always do. Because even though I don't watch all the time, I go check it. And uh, apparently TNA... Uh, well, recently they had a little bit of misfortune. They uh, were on the road. And that didn't work out for them. So they decided to go back to Universal Studios to film their... Uh, where they used to film before. And start filming their shows again. And then they lost the rights to... a. Uh, be in a Universal studio, so they're taping in other places. I don't know. So, you know, I'm hoping that, you know, they'll get it worked out. And then there's rumors that Spike has been in talks with the WWE and SmackDown. I can't see SmackDown going to Spike, even though I think SmackDown is not a good show anyway. Uh, I'm sure, uh, yeah, but it has it's got its fans, and I don't think that they're going to go down to get less of a viewership to go in, to go to Spike unless they've got some very strong uh, ideas about how they can make it work there. I know that I would love to see SmackDown off of Sci-Fi because I've seen way too many programs uh, get cancelled while well, uh, SmackDown has stayed on Sci-Fi. And uh boggles my mind. I like wrestling and I don't want to see it on Sci-Fi Channel. <clears throat> but hey, I digress. So... Like I said, I'm watching the ROH thing, and uh, AJ Styles shows up. If you don't watch wrestling, this is probably not going to mean much to you. But if you do watch wrestling on a regular basis, you probably know that AJ Styles is pretty much one of the best that there is uh, in the world at what he does. Yeah, I know. Daniel Bryan's great, and CM Punk are great, and they do an amazing job, and WWE Samoa Joe, when he was allowed to work in TNA and did do stuff, he did amazing stuff, but you know what, when you look at a lot of those guys, when you connect the dots between CM Punk and uh, Daniel Bryan, screw it, Bryan Danielson, because that's his name, and guys like uh, Samoa Joe, guys like Christopher Daniels, people that uh, wrestling fans really know, then there's a common denominating factor in this AJ Styles who can pretty much go and do anything with any wrestler. He can wrestle a freaking broom and make it a five-star match. That's just the guy that he is. And he's an ROH, which makes this guy that occasionally watched TNA suddenly steer back. Uh, I wouldn't follow AJ Styles to... WWE, I might have curiosity to see what kind of a train wreck they would make out of him, kind of like they did with Monty Brown, but uh, I would follow him to ROH. So I just watched a match from uh, ROH, and wrestling's great. Uh, this uh, wrestler's pretty cool. I haven't watched ROH in a while because uh, it is, you know, it's it's lower great wrestling, but it's a lower rent company. Uh, that's what it is. That's that's the truth. But uh. The announcing is is horrific. I I gotta say, there's one guy anyway that uh, English guy, British guy. He sounds oh my god. Just check it out anyway. He's just really really bad. 
but the wrestling is really, really good. Uh, Jay Lethal went over there. I'm a fan of Jay Lethal. Uh, Rhino was apparently there. I like him. Roderick Strong is there. Uh, Kevin Steen. Everybody tells me about Kevin Steen. I checked that guy out. And uh, Chris Hero, which who was in WWE, and they totally messed that up. Uh, they lost. They let him go. And he went back there. So where does 2014 take me as a as a wrestling fan? Well, apparently it takes me to the third company, uh, ROH, Ring of Honor. Cause, uh, but you know what? <clears throat> if TNA, if this is a work, and this is a one-off for AJ Styles and he ends up back in TNA, then that is the most brilliant storyline that I've ever seen anybody do. But uh, if it's not and he is an ROH, then it's going to be interesting to see him fighting some different people, some people that he hasn't fought or hasn't fought in a while. And I'll be looking forward to that. Maybe that'll excite me about wrestling again. Because the last year or so hasn't been the most exciting for me wrestling-wise. Because honestly, it's only so often you can watch uh, Dixie come out and be all mean or sting, win the belt again at Bound for Glory. Or uh, Cena, Orton, exchange belts. Honestly, at this point in WWE, why don't they just get in the middle of the ring and hand the belt to the other person and say, you know, okay, it's yours for a while. <clears throat> because, you know, the match doesn't matter. That's uh, my thoughts on wrestling in 2014. Next up, movies. Movies and more movies. Thanks for watching and uh, for me right now, because I never got it before, because I wanted to make this video. It's time for tea.